Hello everybody, my name is Michelle. I'm actually Lisa's cousin. I know that she's been working with Unique Cosmetics and I recently made a purchase. So I kind of went into this a little bit blind. I did watch one of her videos showing the application and then I noticed a few pictures that some ladies had posted and I thought, okay, I want to try this. So right now I just have a simple, uh, well, it's not too simple, but it's just basically, basically simple eyeshadows on uh, and then I just put a quick wing liner on with some cheap eyeliner that I happened to get at uh, Walmart. I don't even recall the brand. I believe it was Eyes, Lips, Face, Elf Cosmetics. So what I'd like to do is just basically show you how it arrived, show you what I'm going to do. It'll be like a quick before and after, and that way you can just kind of see for yourself what this is all about. So uh, basically the product arrived in a little package like this, you know, and then you're going to get you're going to get, I have to work on my gunnas, you're going to get some instructions, looks like that, with some new product information, and then you actually get a cute little pouch that, that this product comes in. I forgot where I put the pouch, but you basically, it comes in this really cute box, and I'm a kind of a product product junkie. I like, to, I like to see how products arrive, and I like to, I don't know, see the a packaging junkie, I should say. So this is a really cool package. I like the feeling of it. Whatever. Anyway, so two things that you're going to get. You're going to get the transplanting gel, and you're also going to get the fibers. And I know these kind of sound like weird, scary terms, but they're not. They're super easy to do. So like I said, just quick, I just did a quick eye look. I didn't do anything with my lashes. I just have eyeliner on the top part of my eyes. And one little quick tip that I did notice. So if you use liquid liner, a lot of times it, it like trans, it, it, it gets down onto your lashes, and that can affect how mascara adheres. So what I did is, and so I let it dry, and I just basically kind of do this to my lashes, and I pick off like any, oh that sounds like a really gross term, but I just, I just kind of remove any, any liquid liner that may have got on my lashes. So if you see my fingertips are a little bit black now, that's why. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically just, uh, my cat's going to walk by and interrupt me. There we go. You get to see a nice tail shot. I'm going to open this up, and tip for you. Doing this up and down thing with the mascara, bad. That forces air down into the container. We don't want that. So instead of doing that, basically I'm, I'm doing like this twisting kind of motion and getting the product out that way. So I have a mirror, so sorry if the angle's not very good, but I, I, can't, I can't multitask like that all the time. So I'm just going to put this on, the transplanting gel, like I would any mascara. Alright. Basically a nice even coat. That's all I'm going for. So we can see this a little bit better. And that's about it for that. So then quickly put it back. Time for the fibers. This one's kind of cool. So, and note, this is still wet. This is obviously in real time. Same type of thing. I'm not jamming it down in there. I'm just doing a nice little twisty motion. Pulling it out. Bam. Got my mirror, so here we go again. And if there's any like little loose fibers, you just kind of pluck them out of there. So like here's one that just kind of fell, or actually that might be, no, that's me. That's just black eye makeup. Huh. Added bonus, beauty mark. Okay, so that's just one super quick coat. And time for round two. Same process, transplant gel, get a nice healthy coat on there. Time for the application. And I guess this like seals the lashes, like seals the process. And then just because 
I have the time, it's my day off, I'm going to do another coat. So, more fibers, same process. While it's still damp. And by the way, I did this yesterday for work. And I got asked a few times, are you wearing fake lashes? And normally I'd say, no. But today I didn't have to do that. I actually said no. All right, so after the fibers comes this, uh, the transplant gel one more time. And I'm not like doing a hard motion up. I'm kind of patting. That about does it. So, super quick, super easy, huge, huge difference. So I'm going to try to zoom in for you here so we can get a better angle. Bear with me one second. I'll even try to get a, a better angle than that. Check that out. Here is my eye that does not have anything on. So here's the before. After, after literally just a couple of minutes of my time. So, before, I can look down for you. After. So, anyways, I hope that that was uh, informative for you. So like I said, just a couple of tips that I think would help with this application. The first, do not shove air into this thing. They, just like any product, if you do that, it will dry out. That goes the same if you ever have like MAC painterly pots. Put the cap on immediately after using them because they will dry up. So make sure to do that. No air in these things. Another tip, like I said, take your, uh, take your, make sure you're not getting eyeliner on your lashes. So make sure to, if you do, maybe you take a little makeup remover wipe and just kind of do that on your lashes or like I did the old fashioned pluck way, just kind of gently grab and, and get and remove any of that liquid makeup because that affects, it makes certain lashes clump right off the bat. So if they're clumped and then you try, it's just like regular mascara, it won't look in my opinion as great. So that's my other tip. Uh, and finally, that's, that's about it. So far so good. I wore these yesterday, like I said, at work all day. I, the only thing you may have to do, and literally I just had to go like this, there's like a couple fibers that drop down, but nothing crazy. And honestly, I wear sometimes bottom eyeliner makeup, so I don't really know if it was that like transferring or if it was just a few fibers, but whatever, it was an easy cleanup. I wore them the whole day. I didn't get home until uh, I, I left for work around 10. I didn't get home from work. I had a, a German meeting and I didn't get out of that until like nine something so this was all day and my lashes still look great so anyways if you have any questions let me know and thank you lisa for sending me that so fast or getting that all processed or whatever you had to do it was awesome and i look forward to trying more stuff and giving you guys my input thanks bye